Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Agnes and here on my channel I share all things nails and more. It's time! Okay, I shouldn't attend to be Maria Carey, but anyway, I reckon it's time to get into the spirit of Christmas with these very demure Grinch nails. You can shop for my nail planner on my Etsy shop. It's a digital download hand created by myself, which you can print out as many times as you like. My Aliana hand is ready to go. I've already prepped the tips, which are Hona XL Coffin full cover tips. They are great. First, I'm going in with a coat of the gel bottle Fiji, which is a gorgeous sort of pearl essence lilac -y pink and I'm going to cure that in a lamp for 60 seconds. I'm then going in with a coat of the Jill Bottle Supernova which is a beautiful iridescent white pink sparkle. This combo is such a dream. I'm going to cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds. And then last but not least, well second last, is the Jill Bottle in Opal just to add some iridescent shards to this already gorgeous space. And then lastly, finally, we are going to top coat the base with the gel bottle in matte top coat. It's just going to give us a really good canvas to work on. I'm marking out the center point of the top half of the nail using the gel bottles Studio Gel in Carrie's Cosmo, which is a gorgeous light pink. And as you can see, this is becoming a bow, which is going to sit on top of the Christmas tree that we are about to start painting, for which I am mixing together Bottega and Daisy, followed by Freesia to create a more sort of vibrant, grinchy green, which I am going to use throughout this set. So I'm mixing plenty of it. I'm then just sort of mapping out the tree and I'm going to fill it in. The brush I'm using is Hona Detail Brush and in hindsight this would have been a lot quicker using a more substantial brush but anyway we're rolling with it. I've cured the base of our tree before going in with Bottega, adding more dimension by adding these swoops for branches. I mixed together a slightly darker shade of pink to add some shadowing on our bow and then I followed with some highlights using Daisy and I'm also adding these highlights on the tree just to make it pop a little bit more add some more dimension. I then top coated this nail using Extreme Shine Top Coat and we are going to come back to this nail later on and add some more magic but for now we're moving on to the middle fingernail. Going in with the gel bottle after party I am writing out the word very for our very demure Grinch nail. Outlining those letters in Daisy to make them pop and also adding that little bit of Dr. Seuss art style to the design for the Grinch. Grinch. I'm roughly sketching out a sort of a small circular shape and then a heart shape right below it. I've now got a better idea of the scale of how much I can fit on the nail so I am just making this slightly bigger before filling it in and I'm then pulling the bottom of the heart down to give him a neck or her creating a sort of a arrow shape I guess. I'm then going in with Carrie's Cosmo to create a sort of a triangle shape on top of Grinch's head which is going to be the hat. I'm filling that in and then I'm just dragging it down on one side for the hat to hang down. Then I'm roughly sketching out Grinch's body, it doesn't have to be perfect. Still using my Hona detail brush, I'm loading it up with the Gel Bottle Studio Gel in Jet Black and I'm going to start outlining our Grinch, creating sort of tufts of fur around the cheek area. I'm using the Gel Bottle Design X Pro Flash Cure Lamp in between adding lots of little details just to make sure that everything stays in place and it's quicker than curing with the big lamp every single time you add a small aspect. Colouring in the nose, adding the eyes and going over my line work. The Grinch do be Grinching! I'm now going in with Daisy and using my dotting tool I'm just dotting loads of little white pom-poms around his or her's jacket and hat, including the very tip of the hat which I'm sort of dragging down with my brush. Having cured the far part, I am picking up After Party and I'm writing Demure just sort of along the sort of collar area where the fur is cuffing around the face. I do switch about quite a bit, um, so I'm back with the black and I'm outlining the pom-poms or the fur around the hat as well as the hat itself. 
as I'm recording this voiceover, it is currently the 17th of November and I just can't shake the thought, when is the right time to put the Christmas tree up? Me and Reese have been debating over this. He thinks it's too early, I think it's time because, you know, you spend all that time putting a tree up, you want to make the most of it. So let me know down in the comments below, when do you think is the right time to put the Christmas tree up? Have you got yours up or when will you put yours up? I want to know. While I was chatting away to you, I've sketched out Grinchy's extravagantly long, flicky outy tipped fingers which are going to be holding a bobble. Now I've just realised that I did four fingers here, but for the thumbnail, which we'll get to soon, where he or she is rudely sticking up his or her's middle finger, I've done five fingers. Whoopsies! But something tells me the Grinch only had four fingers. And I stand corrected. Now that that's put to bed, I am sketching out the Grinch's arm, which is coming from the left side of the nail, essentially looking as though it's an extension of the Grinch's arm on the middle nail, using Daisy to paint a fine line for the bobble string. And like I said, I do tend to switch around, so I've went back to the middle nail and I am doing the black outline on the demure as well, which just finishes that nail off. I'm just top coating it and I'm also top coating the ring finger. We are coming back to this nail later on to put the bobble on it. Moving on to the pinky nail, we are sketching out another bow using Carrie's Cosmo and flash curing it before going in with our green to create a wreath. Really messy sort of outline for that spruce effect but making sure I'm kind of directing the spruce in one direction. I've actually swapped my brush over to the Jill Bottle Liner 1 brush and I'm doing some candy canes here using Daisy so a longer brush is best to get those straight lines. Then I'm switching back to my smaller Hona detail brush and I'm going in with After Party to create those tiny, teeny, tiny candy cane lines. Now I'm just going in with Jet Black to outline the whole thing. Guys, I've had so much fun creating these nails, filming and editing this video as it's been a while since I've done this sort of nail tutorial type video and The Grinch has got to be my all-time favourite Christmas film and I think I do a pretty good impressionation of That's it, I'm not going. And that's it for this nail, I'm just top coating it using my Extreme Shine top coat. Now we're going back to the index nail. I'm going to outline the Christmas tree to tie it up with the other nails. I'm lightly buffing the surface of the nail to give the gel some grip. Why did I not outline it in the first place you ask? Well, I wasn't too sure in the beginning what kind of finish I was going for and when I started to outline all the designs, it sort of just ended up being that sort of cartoony Dr. Seuss type finish. If you've gotten to this part in the video, please leave a little green heart in the comment section and I want to say thank you so much for sticking around. And if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, it helps me out a lot. So I'm just sealing those outlines in with the top coat before moving over to the thumbnail. Now this is going to be our rude Grinch nail. Starting from the top, cuffed around the cuticle, we are going to have the words in my in after party. And I'm leaving the gap between the two words for the Grinch's middle finger. I started with the middle finger as it sort of maps out the centre of the nail, adding the thumb which I'm fixing a couple times to get that proper grinchy flicky finger effect. So once I'm happy with how that looks, I am going in with Carrie's Cosmo for the sleeve, flash cure and then I'm mapping out the word Grinch in white, making the letters really chunky so it will become the outline for writing over it with after party and then we're just left with the perfect space at the bottom for error. Personally, I can't say there's a big difference in which way you outline, whether you do it first as a base or go around the letters afterwards. Both ways probably take the same amount of time and are both just as awkward to do. Going back to the top of the nail, I'm outlining in and my before outlining the Grinch's hand. I am doing sort of rigidy edges just to make it look a bit more sort of hairy and grinchy, I suppose. Adding some finishing details on the five fingers that the Grinch in fact doesn't have. 
adding some pom-poms around the sleeves, flesh cure and outline. Lastly, I'm adding the tufts of hair on the hands before top coat. Now let's add some baling! Using the gel bottle buffer, I am removing the shine on the bobble nail as well as the Christmas tree nail. I'm getting all my rhinestones out and ready. I've got these mixed pink ones which I'm pouring onto my triangle dish. And I'm also going to be using these light pink unicorn stain rhinestones. I'm placing a little dribble of Glitter Bells nail glue on a nail foil which I'm picking up with my dotting tool and placing on the nail where I want the bobbles to go. Leaving it to get tacky before picking up rhinestones using a wax pencil and placing them on the glue dots. I'm adding some teardrop shaped ones which I thought were really effective as baubles. Oh I love the way that looks. Now over to the ring finger we're going to add a diamante bauble and that is a balingy. Love that. Now we're going back to the index nail because, as you know, I like to switch. Um, and we are just doing a little tree trunk using after party and then just outlining it. And that entirely finishes that nail off. Adding some finishing touches, some tufts of hair on Grinchy's hand on the ring finger before top coating it. I don't want to top coat over the stone because it would lose its shine, so I'm sort of encapsulating the sides of the stone. You can see my green nail poking out the glove and no, I did not match my nails for this video. These are my nails from Halloween. I dressed up as the mask so I had them matching. I'm using the Joe Bottles long liner brush number two to go around all these rhinestones and seal them in and I'm just going in with my brush for the rest of the nail and that's it done. And that's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did creating it. If you did, please be sure to comment, like and subscribe. Like I said, it helps me out loads. And I've got lots more Christmas shenanigans coming your way. Until next time, bye!